How you doing? Gotta fix my hat. I'm in a good mood, I'll tell you right now. I really am. We have a lot of good things happening. Buck and Stock 2020, I want you guys to be there. Where are your bibs, man, so I recognize you. No, you don't have to. Well, you can. We got a goal. Uh, my buddy out in Wisconsin. I think that's where you're from, ain't you? Let me look at your notes here. Yep, he's from Wisconsin. Robert, you have a wonderful saw. This little uh, 61 Practica. This is the original side cover, I believe. It's plastic. Uh, I was really surprised. No chain break there. Before that. That wasn't necessary back then. Uh, I just had this run and I had to adjust the carburetor a little bit. I went through my... This one I did six uh, heating and cooling cycles. And three's good, but I did six. I, I'll see if the old girl will start for us here. I just had it running, so it ought to. It's oiling, I'll tell you that. Take a little adjustment as things get going. It's ready. I'm ready to bar this up. Uh, I'll tell you what I found out about these. The well, I tell you, I'm gooing bar oil. That's going in the stove. I can see that. Give me another paper towel out here. Uh, some of these saws don't oil as good as others. I'm going to tell you that right now. This one has no issue with oiling. In fact, I don't know if I've ever seen one oil as good as this one does. Hey, the, the 272s, 268s, some of them oil good, some didn't. This one here is an overdrive. There's something about these you need to know. When you do a 61, you put a 272 top end on, you got to use the carb and everything. We already told you that. As you have to make a little notch on the leading side of your point, okay? You gotta cut a little hole for that wire. It doesn't hurt nothing. Uh, it, it it works out. It, it's it works good. But you have to do that. And I make that fairly small. I'll tell you another thing I'm gonna do, just because I know, is this plastic here. I'm gonna take cut this back to about right in here. Uh, I want more airflow on them fins on this. And. Uh, I'm going to keep your saw a bit, if you don't mind, unless you're in the egg, you let me know. I, I, I want to I wanna do a bunch of cutting with this one. Uh, I know what 60 runs run like, so don't you. They were a loyal saw. This is a fun one. I didn't get carried away with this. It's just a, a, just a, a solid build is what it is. It's an older saw. Unique. Just really unique. The muffler on these are crazy. It comes apart. It's two-piece. You know what I found? They got a big old baffle. The minute you take it fell out. Oh I forgot to put it back in. We did a little more too. You know. We did a little more. And underneath them baffles and that, there is another cover. It's got six holes, same size as these ones. Maybe just a little yeah, they're a little smaller than these holes. And uh I removed that. We're getting plenty of air through the saw. If it don't get out, it ain't coming in. This is the way it is. Just remember that. Extra tuning on this one. I want it spot on when you get it. You're going to love the saw. It, it's lovely. It really is. I'm going to clean this old girl up. We'll get the sticker on there. And I'm going to run it just a bit. Uh, this is something I'm going to do with all saws from here on out. I'm going to run them. Then you're going to see them. So, it's going to take a little extra time. You know we got things in the works in the background. We are making other video clips that at some point we're cutting and putting together. I want to show you a saw that I have been waiting three months. We Remember we couldn't get parts for two months? Well, at the same time, I took on a little extra saws because I thought we were just flying. Uh, oh, my God. It was a train wreck. It was just a train wreck. So, by the time I do get parts... It's Christmas time, so we get through Christmas, two, three more saws come in. 
We're backed up. Sorry. Be patient. You'll have what you want. Just be patient. They're all coming. I can't rush these saws. I can't do it. I won't do it. Uh, Luke's sent me a MS-660. But this is one of them uh, Blue Thunders, I believe is what they call them. The Holtz Forma. He says, Harvey, I don't care what you do. He says, this is what I want. He wants 100cc saw like old Dave. I got the piston in. Guess what? They sent me a piston for a 661 instead of a 660. Uh, I'm trying to get that straightened out as we speak. But if you want... <coughs> Excuse me. If you want to know what happened to your saw, I'll show you. And this is something classic. You see the marks in your case? That ain't going to hurt nothing. Uh, this flywheel side bearing failed. I don't know if I can get it right in here or not. Yeah, you get a little bit. Well, that's... Yeah. Anyway, that bearing's bad. And it let the crank drift. It doesn't hurt nothing. No big deal. It really ain't. It just took the paint off. It didn't actually remove any metal. If you look in there, uh, I'll turn my little light on. It, uh, it's all the original machine marks are there. It didn't hurt nothing. We're good to go. Now, why I've been interested in doing this saw uh, is because it is a whole form. We want to see how good they really are, don't we? I, I kind of know they're all right. Tell you what, we're dead because your crank bearing was bad too. On your rod, I've got you one here. This is a brand new crank. See them numbers? Now, this is an NWP, it's New World Product. Get these from Wolf Creek. Saw a shop out in Colorado. Ryan will treat you good. Lovely, lovely crank. Really like this. I've used a few of them. I haven't had any trouble with them yet. When I talked to Ryan, he says we send hundreds and hundreds out there every day. Well, not every day, but he's got hundreds and hundreds of them out there. And uh, so they're not coming back. Are they going to be as good as OEM? I don't know. Are these cases as good as OEM? I don't know. When you try to go buy these saws used, OEM steel, they're expensive, and you don't know what you're getting. Okay, look what you did here. You did a good thing. You're in it. Quite reasonable. You, you run it till you had a problem. Don't mill with a saw. If you're going to mill with this, you need to let me know now before I get putting this together because there's things i got to do different. But don't mill with these. It's not a good idea. Not the big bore. Don't do that. You know, builds too much heat. Horsepower builds heat, plain and simple. Uh, we're going to get this saw together. We're upgrading the crank, cylinder, piston. We're putting a Weiss skull in this. Okay, with a nice, nice, nice hundred, going to be a nice hundred cc build. But when you do that, I'm going to show you something you got to do in these cases. There isn't enough room in these areas right here. It's, uh, you got to take a little more out right along these edges because that piston doesn't, it needs to clear here and here. You got to take another 30 thousandths off each side of that. You do that when they're apart. And uh, then you're good to go. But it kind of upset me when I see I didn't have a freaking right piston because I wanted this to just bam, bam. These don't take long to build. We're upgrading the cuts. We're upgrading the ignition. This is what we're doing. We're using aftermarket stuff. I'm going to do the Oregon clutch in this because I like them quite well. Uh, I forget which ignition. Is it on the shelf here? I don't see it. It's probably in your box. So anyway, this is what we're doing. So I'll be, I'll get your bottom end together, and we'll get, we'll get it all put together. Uh, I don't know as I'll show the bottom end on video, because uh, these are a little more detailed than than the Oscar Varnas. And uh, I love the looks of the crank, I really do. I think uh, this is a nice crank. It, uh, 
it's got the right weight everywhere, I guess is what I like about it. So anyway, why did you see it? Sean, got your 372 here. Yours is being done at the same time this one is. Uh, I'll show little clips of both saws in their different progressions. We've got to get that 61 out and run it. We want to run one or two of them 41s at the same time. So we got them coming. Uh, Kyle Davidson, your saw's coming up. Uh, Dan Caminetti, your saw technically is done. But I want to come up with something special. Well, you know what we and I talked about. Be patient. I got something in the works you might like. As soon as I know, I'm going to show it to you. Uh, we, uh, we had one guy, Steve, emailed me this morning. He had loss in your family. You're a little 266. Sounds like things got rough. He said, money's the thing. And, uh, he said, he, this, if, if I could, send him a saw because he don't know how much money he don't really. He had some extra expenses he didn't count on. There might be something we can still do. Let's just see. Unless you want, you're in a hurry, you just want saw back, then that's fine. But if it's money, I feel bad for you, man. I really do. I think it was a close loss, wasn't it? We'll get through this. We will. We all have to face this. Okay, my bibs. Several of you want to know. Liberties. Yep, got the green on them. That's what I got, Liberties. It, uh, I wear them because they're so stylish. Yeah, that's why. And uh, we got a long time before bucket stock, and I can't wait. But I plan on bringing a few kind of choice saws with me this year. I didn't know what to expect last year. I'm going to tell you what I found out. It is a blast. The nicest people under the sun. you got to go to Buck and Stock 2020. You're, you're going to miss something. You're going to miss something real. I'm going to be there the whole darn time. I'm not messing around. You're going to see Jeremy Bell, the old Bell Hopper. Hey, Bell Hopper. He's going to be there. You're going to love meeting Jeremy in person. Because he is a wonderful man. You know what Jeremy did at Buckenstock? He worked on saws the whole time. I didn't even get a chance to talk to him. We'll talk this time, Jeremy. Of course, Buck and Billy, he's coming. And I'll tell you what, he's a showstopper. If you like his videos, you wait till you see him in person. Uh, he is freaking crazy good. It, uh, he got style, man. He got style. Yeah, some of us don't. I don't got no style. I just got me, you know. It, uh, I've been there. I went through the ringer. The bucking, bam, hits the ground. It's done. He's got your attention. He's talking to people. He's going to talk to you guys. This is going to be at Decal's place. Decal's building a new house, and he's going to get her done. Decal. Thanks. Love the invite. Landfill Rat. Thanks. Outdoors with the Morgans. Mike and Melissa Morgan. I assume they'll be here. They're, they were there that last year. You're going to love Mike and Melissa Morgan. They're wonderful people. Down to earth. And uh, they're just fun to hang out with. Just plain fun. They got a channel that's a little different than what mine is, which is just a little different bucking, which is different than uh, Kenzie's. Kenzie! I think Kenzie's going to be there from Bio Country Power Saws. I think he's going to be there, too. Hope that works out. We'd love to have you there. And, of course, you're going to see the whole crowd you've seen last year plus a whole bunch. i got a funny feeling. Uh, I'm so looking forward to seeing all you guys. Logger Wade. How you doing, Logger Wade? You're coming to Bucking Stock, right? Yeah, I know you are. I'm going to bring a 394 or something for you to run, okay? I got something that's your speed, I think. The old girl sitting right up there in the corner. See that orange one right there? I had to go the opposite way. Logger Wade, you're going to run that one, ain't you? You might want to try one of these 372s out, too. They don't run so darn bad. We know 394 is a pull. 
But uh, I might bring old Uncle Lyle's freaking green uh, 306 pooling. I thought about hot rodding it, but you know it's such a treasure. It's, it's sometimes saws are fun the way they are. I'm so freaking piped. I I just you ever just wake up in that mood, and I got that mood, and it's because of you guys being my dang family. I I was losing family left and right for quite a few years. I was running out of kid folk. Got to be some new kinfolk right here. Love you guys. So much. Just so much. In my last video, go through them comments. Mm. Now, you know the crap that OPE Forum put us through, put me through. And you seen what happened with that piston cylinder. I got my damn ass in a knot off that. A mastermind and had a little change of heart, at least publicly. And he invited me down to his farm in October with some built saws. Had a little saw run off. Look in that comment. Tell me you guys what you think. If it was real, I'd probably do it. I gotta know that's real. As I don't like people that play games with me. I'm not good at games. Mm -mm, that don't happen. Okay, I gotta let you go. We got sauce to build here. Got a cat that's climbing around on everything. I gotta think I'm gonna put her outside. It's a nice day. We got some company. Half an hour up to Sean's. I gotta go get hay, guys. Boss lady just said, told me get up there in a half an hour. I'll be talking to you soon. Goodbye.